One of the most shameful things we do in this country is uh, how we treat our veterans. Uh, that's uh, people who have fought in former wars and people who are returning from the so-called wars for fighting on terrorism in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, One-fourth of all homeless people in the United States are veterans, believe it or not. And that's a hard thing if you think about it for a second. Why would they be homeless? Uh, many are returning with post-traumatic syndrome, uh, bad injuries. Uh, they're having trouble dealing with life. No wonder they've been in battle. Uh, they're trying to return to their communities to get jobs and find the jobs are not there. Someone has taken their jobs or they can't get a job. Uh, and so what, what are their avenues? They go to our organizations that are supposed to help them, such as the Veterans Administration, and they're getting the governmental bureaucratic runarounds. Uh, so many are forced to go out on the streets and fend for themselves. In 2005, over 6,000 veterans committed suicide. That's way above the rate for non-civilians. If compassion means anything to Americans, to our government, it means we've got to do something about this problem. We've got to take care of the people who go over there and fight for us. Uh, our government needs to do more than pay lip service, such as passing legislation for veterans' benefits that never get to them. But in the end, who's responsible for this? It's the American citizen, the voter. Remember our Constitution says, we the people. So it's time that we do something about this, and there's some things that we can do. Find out who the veterans are in your neighborhood. Go to your local uh, church or synagogue, wherever you worship, uh, whatever nonprofit groups you work with that, that may deal with situations like this. Find out who the veterans are. Bring them into these institutions. Uh, take care of them. If you know a veteran living down the street, make sure that veteran is taken care of. You have to take food to them, you have to give, give them some money uh, that they can eat on Thanksgiving Day and uh, then work hard to make sure they can find a job in their community. Uh, a society is measured on how they take care of people uh, such as the homeless people, the poor, and as I've said, many of those people are veterans. In other words, we need to do more for those who have sacrificed so greatly so that we can remain free. For more on what you can do and for some specific points on this really great problem, uh, I urge you to go and read my commentary on this particular issue at rutherford.org and by all means, do something. We cannot continue to let uh, this happened to our veterans.